Galax remains in a state of emergency after the police chief told WDBJ7 this morning the city was virtually underwater. If residents there have no power and are being asked not to use water at this time. Senior reporter Joe DeShiel is there and joins us now live. So Joe, what can you tell us about the conditions there now? Well, Gina and Natalie, things are actually looking up here in the city of Galax. Now, we have seen people who were evacuated from their homes today, and we have seen the impact of high winds and heavy rain. But the sun is out now, the water has receded, and many people here are counting their blessings. Now, the Galax Volunteer Fire Department responded to one call after another for several hours today. Chestnut Creek was running high through the center of the city, and many area roads were flooded as well. On Swanson Street, power went out around 9.30, and about, within about 30 minutes, residents there were preparing to evacuate because of the high water. It was over my porch. I just had a little step like this, and it was coming up over that, and it was rolling. It was so powerful. I, I could barely walk with the, uh, the EMS. It was trying to take us. They had ropes out there, boats, trying to get people out. Now, Galax uh, police have issued uh, warnings this afternoon, both for people who are traveling through the area to make sure they're aware that many of the stoplights are out because of power outages. And this afternoon, we also uh, learned from the police department that they were encouraging people here not to use the water for about three hours. That warning came out about an hour ago. They had a power outage at the water treatment plant, and uh, the city is working to get a generator there and get that operation back online. Gene, Natalie. All right, Joe DeShiel reporting live for us tonight in Galax. Thank you for that update.